that was that was smoke. Very scary. Um, just too bad. Oh, frustrating. I'm gonna need a minute. Big Blue's back and we're at Vineyards Country Club here in Naples, Florida. We've been bouncing around Naples playing a lot of awesome courses around here. So take a look at this one and enjoy the round. Number one, a short par four, 384 yards. Just a slight move to the right out there, but this fairway looks enormous. It's like a pretty pretty easy starting hole really. This bunker's around the left side, but the fairway is very expansive. Alright, so I lost it a little bit to the right. Um, but it was wide open. I got a pretty simple pitch shot here. It's like about 80 yards or so. All right, so we got a par to start with. That putt was very scary. It just finished like extremely downhill right at the cup. Could have got away from me. Um, left it above the hole, but was able to make that for par. So all right, we got a par three coming up. Right, so we got 160. Yeah, it's too bad. I went with pitching wedge there, 160 downwind, and just happened to hit it at 168 yards. So definitely wasn't expecting the pitching wedge to fly that far. So I'm behind the behind the green. You know, it's definitely doable, but got a little touchy chip shot. Yeah, number three, par five, moves around to the left out there, around those bunkers.
All right, I got 206 to the flag. And it looks pretty straightforward. There's bunkers guarding it on the right side. Left side looks a little more open. That wasn't too good. I'm working on some things. I'm actually aimed further right than I need to be. So I, I'm trying to, trying to fix that, but I am afraid of going way left. Um, right there, that's what happened, went way left. So got my work cut out for me now to try to make bird. Yeah, you can see the bunkering on the right side of this green. It's pretty well placed. Definitely captures about anything that goes right. And if you look way out there, you'll see my ball left on the other side of that bunker. I'm sorry y'all had to see that one. That was a stupid, stupid, stupid six. Ah, oh, started with a six iron into the green. Walked away with six. Very sad. That's one you think, I gave two away there. But it's early, you know, early. Didn't really warm up. I can make plenty of excuses. But I do know one thing, we got 15 more chances for birdie. Got a short par four, it's only 355. Over those palms right there is where the green is at, through there. And I could take driver, pound it, let it ride the wind, maybe even get there. So hit that one pretty hard. So it should have really a delicate little pitch shot. We'll see when we get up there. Driver's definitely not the play here. Um, at least where this ended up, it's just a little touchy, 41 yards, gotta carry this bunker, don't have a lot of green to work with, so. All right, so I executed that one pretty well, just bled away to the right. Got about 10 feet up the hill right to left. So got the bird we needed. Now we're on to number five. And, you know, modest par four, it looks like, 437. Wind's still helping. These fairways are very generous. So, got you know, a good birdie opportunity. I think I'm going to have a wedge or nine iron in my hand here. Let's take a look at this one. All right, wasn't bad. Pulled it a little bit. Um, I went with a nine iron from 173 because downwind, it was a flyer lie. And I honestly didn't catch it good. It was a little high on the face, but it just got up in the sky so far that the wind just carried it pin high. So we do have a birdie look. A little outside, 25 feet probably. Let's take a look. So you got a bunker on the right side of the green here. We're looking back at the fairway. It's a pretty big green. I think I landed on the front side and then there's a little uh, valley right here up into the back tier. So my ball just kicked and rolled. Uh, all the way back to pin high. So we got this look here for bird. We 
We are on number six, finally heading back into the wind. This is 409 yards. Uh, pretty good size par four. This fairway doesn't look quite as expansive. We got some palms on the left, and those look like they run down to some water. And on the right, of course, that's uh, number five over there. We got bunkers guarding that right side. That was uh, one of my better swings of the day for sure. And like I said, I'm working on a few things and um, not super comfortable over the golf ball. And I wanted to hit a fade and I felt like I, I executed it pretty well. Uh, I was fading back into the wind, but really it ended up being fairly straight, but I hit my lines. Uh, so I'm very happy with that. All right, it turned out good. I got 123 back into the breeze. That was pretty poor from that yardage, but I'm putting off the fringe. We'll take a look at it. But only thing on this hole is a bunker to the right here that's in play. There's one way left, but there's a collection area in between. Um, so it's not really in play. Okay, number seven, par four. Looks like it wraps around to the right, but again, wide open. You can just see the green out there to the right side. All right, got myself in a little trouble here. I'm gonna have to I'm going to have to punch this low with a little cut. Try to get it up on that left side of the green if I can out there. Hands over to the right. Stupid. Stupid. It just hit that hill in front and bounced straight up, then hit the tree. Uh, so I got the same shot pretty much again. A lot of unnecessary trouble on this one. Uh, did hit that, <laughs> that second one pretty good. In fact, it rolled right by the hole, just over the green. Might, might still have a putt for par, we'll see short left pretty good size green you know it slopes away on the front side and then rolls away on the back side so the pin's sitting up here perched in the middle and i'm back there for par on the back fringe Yeah, that was frustrating. Ugh, ugly six. Got two sixes on the card now. Got a bogey, a double, and a birdie. So we're two over on this side. Got a long par three. It's 200 into the wind. 196 exactly to the pins.
ugly first putt, but made the next one for par, thank goodness. So, still two over. Got a par five coming. It's like pretty straight away off the tee and then maybe goes to the right for our second shot. To a green kind of over that water, I imagine. Hit a very nice one there. Yeah, it was back into a very strong breeze, so I kept it down and it uh, didn't reach the bunkers. I bet without this wind, I probably would get there. So we got a long way. I don't think it's gonna be reachable even with three wood today. Yeah, we got 297 and it's mostly into the wind. And looks like there's a false front. I think probably just go with an iron, give ourselves a full swing into that green. Definitely one of the best swings of the day there with the uh, three iron, just right down the middle. Can't ask for anything more. Yeah, I might have left myself a little awkward shot, but it's back into the breeze, so it might make it a little easier. Got about 70 yards to that flag there. It is just over that ridge. Yeah, hit that one nice. Wind took it to the right, it spun right, but it's pin high. Very happy with that touch, because you kind of have to hit it up on a tabletop pretty much. Yeah, I lost a great opportunity there for Bird. I just hit it through the break, gave it too much. So, yeah, good front nine, not bad, just two sixes for, you know, gave away four shots, shot 38. All right, so number 10, 448 yard par four. Again, just huge fairway out there. Bunkers are to the right. It's pretty much straight away, just some mounding. There's a green side bunker up on the right side. And out of bounds left, but you got to go way left. I got it in the left side of the fairway, but I found one of these side hill and uphill lie. This is going to be a little bit tough to deal with getting it to that flag. So it's got to really stay in this shot. We got 188, stiff breeze back into his uphill lie. I'm gonna see if I can keep a five iron low and out of that wind. Ooh, didn't hit that one very well, but it had too much club uh, accounting for the wind. So it, it, did get, it did get up here most of the way. That pins all the way back. And like most of the greens out here, there's a lot of mounding around one side. Well, got a bogey. Thought I had a pretty decent chip. It just did not check up like I thought it would. So ran to the back as you saw and missed the putt. Just not confident over the putter right now. So got to gain some confidence. And usually that comes by making some putts. All 
All right, number 11 looks like it's got a bunch of bunkers running down the right side of the fairway. And it's straight away. Pins just to the right side of that palm tree. On the edge of the water there. All right, so we got 141 to that front pin. It's gonna be tough to get close. Yeah, so as expected, just came out hot. It's downwind, 141. We got a putt for birdie, but uh, doesn't look really close from the back of the green. Oh, that was a poor effort. The line was terrible. Speed was good. Let the tap in. Tap ins for pars are, are always good, but boy, I don't know where I was aimed or I guess I just pulled it. Who knows? Definitely one of the two. <laughs> All right, so now we got number 12. It's a par four. All right, so we've got 132 yards. The wind's helping, I'm gonna go with a 52 degree wedge on this one. Very pleased with that one. So we got a good look at Bird. Again, a lot of mounting on this. Uh, every hole really seems to be pretty much the same. I'm not overwhelmed uh, with the design of this course, and overall, it's it's pretty easy. I mean, I, I'm not getting penalized for some of my bad swings today. That's for sure. Yeah, it's definitely one you can score on. All right, so we got about 12 feet for birdie. All right, we got a par three, 151, number 13. So we got about, uh, it's a long putt, probably 35 feet, maybe 40 feet. Hopefully snuggle this up close. Giving away shots. Oh, I do not know how many putts I've missed today, but it's been a lot. Giving away a lot of shots today. Kind of frustrating. Got to keep all my clubs intact. Don't want to bruise my knee breaking a club over it. All right, this hole is straight downwind. 368 yards. I just three putt 
and missed a birdie putt on the hole before. So I got some aggression I want to take out on this tee shot. And I want to see how close to the green I'll get. That was smoked. See how close it is. See, I've got 37 yards, so got that 331 on that drive downwind, so that's pleasant. I think this is downwind front pin. I'm gonna I'm gonna run this on. It's a 52 and land it before the little false front, just a little false front in front of it, and try to bounce it up on. That. So this green has some trouble long. You know, if you're if you're hitting a full shot into this downwind and you catch a, a little too much, if you land over this green at all, it's all closely mown and it's rolling down into palmettos and water. So keep that in mind when you play this hole. Getting frustrated. My chip, it went left to right going up the green pretty hard, so I thought that butt was going to go right to left coming back down, but it just stayed pretty straight. So, another missed putt. Putters are really letting me down today. Huh. Wonder if somebody got mad. I didn't do it. <laughs> All right, pretty cool par five here. Number 15, SRT shot. It looks like it runs out there to those trees, which are about 350. So just gonna pound one right at them. And then it goes left. There's water right where those trees are and it runs all the way down for the second shot to the green, which is through that way. I think I got my swing back. Just pounded that one too. Just left of the trees, little draw, carried everything. So we should have a really good chance to put it on in two for Eagle. So we have 208 to carry the bunkers, which I think that's what I want to do, just carry those bunkers. The wind's helping out of the right. I don't think I want to go long. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit a six and try to ride the wind. Just screwed up another par five. It's been my MO, six iron into a par five again. I got it halfway there. Just, <laughs> I'm gonna need a minute. All right, great, so we got 87 yards. So, yeah, so I hit that six iron about 120 yards. It was pretty great. All right, gotta let it go. Gotta hit a good wet shot. I mean, stick this close, still make birdie, but it doesn't look like a very easy one. That green. Looks like it runs away hard after the pin. So, just gotta hit my number here. I 
Hey, I'm not terribly upset with that one. This did not look very comfortable past the flag, so I made sure I left it short. I hit, I executed it the way I wanted. I just, you know, kind of took birdie out of it, hitting that wedge shot, kind of scared. Shouldn't be scared of 87 yards, but not knowing what was long and where that pin was, clipped it nice. Let's take a look at this around the green. Got a lot of mounding on the left side. Got the bunkers in the front we saw. Pin was just over the uh, knob of these bunkers. I probably could have been a little more aggressive with that wet shot. There was some green behind it, but it does go away. So we got about uh, just inside 30 feet, probably up the hill. So it's makeable on the safe side. But the way my putting is going today, who knows? It is a funny game. This hole brought me to tossing a club down by my feet. Got me to maybe saying a cuss word or two off camera. But sometimes it only takes one good putt. All right, we got a par four back into the wind. 397. Got some bunkers on the left. There's out of bounds left by those two trees, three trees over there. And then there's some water over there as well. Just can't see it. I think I'm gonna hit, I think I'm gonna go with a three wood. Nah, it's gonna hit driver. Just over those bunkers. Hopefully cut back. That couldn't have been any more perfect. Right over that bunker with a little cut. Ran a long way too. I think I'm on the edge of the fairway. We'll see what's up there. I'm thinking it's that water. Yeah, so I did not have much room to spare. Fairway runs right into it. Yeah, so we got 107 into this stiff breeze. I don't think my 58 will get all the way back there. So I'm going to hit the 52 degree. It's my next one. I like the ball flight. I like the contact. Not sure I got it all the way back there though. I took uh, quite a bit off of it. The wind kind of took it to the right as expected. Yeah, you can see the slope of the green from front to back, especially in the middle part of the green to this back section. Definitely happy with a par. That was a long putt. I mean, that was every bit of 45 feet, maybe more. Nearly made it. All right, we got a beast of a par three. Number 17 here. 214 yards to that front pin. Wind is out of the right. It's hard to tell if it's helping or hurting. That was a great swing 
five iron I went with and got it high and drawing with the wind just wasn't quite enough to carry the bunker so I think I got a pretty um, a short bunker shot we'll see when we get up there wow what a tough hole a lot of mounting on the left and the green is really perched up Oh, that putt looks so good all the way. Missed so many today. Gosh, I was tracking. So hard to let it go. So we're on the last one now, par five. Hopefully we can get that one back. Finish with a bird, go home happy. We've got water all along the left. The right side looks wide open. Just gotta check what the runoff is down that left center part of the fairway. And I can see the green out there with a couple of green side bunkers. But really, it's just rip one out to the right side, see if we can't put it on in two. Should be in good shape. Nice cut, hit it just like I wanted. Yeah, we're in great shape, right center part of the fairway. Definitely uh, within striking distance. See the green out there. Flags just to the right of those two bunkers. So we have 248 to the flag and it's into a stiff breeze. I think I'm gonna need three wood. And it might be long, but I think anything up there long might be okay. There's nothing past it. That went pretty far left, but I hit it so hard, I think I covered everything. And we gotta go find it. Now, if I'm sitting on grass, it still should be a birdie chance. I couldn't get that last birdie to fall. Um, just too bad. Just the putter let me down today. I did make the one long one. Made a good birdie on uh, number four, I think it was. Yeah. So that was it. Had a lot of looks for par that, you know, I should have dropped a few of those. Just a lot of putts from 10 feet that I didn't make today. Um, so I think I ended up with a couple of 38s on the front and the back. So 76 today. You know, overall, I'm not unhappy with that score. I just left a lot out there with the flat stick. The course was beautiful. Greens were awesome. Turf was great all around. I uh, really enjoyed it. This is a course I think you can really score on. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Vineyards Country Club. We'll try a new track next week. Some more nice and hopefully a lot more birdies.